It's another terrific Thursday. You are listening to Soapbox Daily, episode 177, and I'm your host, Matt Morgan. Hey, thank you very much for tuning in today. It has been a busy week, and yeah, I'm a little late again today. Sorry about that. I'm, um, I think, uh, I think this, this engine's kind of losing steam, and um, I'm thinking closer to the 200th uh, epi- episode, I think uh, we're going to step away from this project. But uh, that's another story for another day. Let's get into today's show. Today's show of Soapbox Daily, we're going to discuss about this. And this is, kind of, this is kind of like a, a PSA, if anything, a public service announcement. The topic for today is nothing gets deleted from the internet ever. That is our topic for today. Nothing gets deleted from the internet ever. And here's the reality on that which we're going to discuss about this briefly today. But before we get into that, hey, how is your integrity this week? Are uh, you having a good integrity week? Are you being the positive change? Are you doing the right thing when no one else is watching? Onwards and upwards, my friends. Only you will know. It's something that, uh, you know, try to keep it, because that's your honor. That's your legacy. That's everything that you are. That's what people know you for and what they're going to remember you for. Let's try to have integrity. Do your best. Evolve. Set the example. Domino effect, my friends, so we can change this world. So let's get into today's topic when it comes to the internet. Now, that's one thing I've been preaching forever, and I have proof upon this time and time again when it comes to the internet. And I know this because I could still find stuff from back in the mid-90s when I was pretty active in the beginning of me getting on the internet. It's still out there. It's still on the internet. We're talking the 90s. A lot of you weren't born yet, <laughs> but, you know, some of you were. And that's when I started pretty much mainstreaming on the internet on a regular basis. I was on the internet daily. It was a, it was a thing. It was new. It was fresh. But, you you know, stuff that you do back then. You don't know what the internet's all about, so you don't know what to expect. Not that I did anything really embarrassing, but, you know, I um, I expressed interest in some of my crushes growing up, blah, 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 just silly petty things. But it's still there because I went to go look out to see whether or not I could find a reference to, you know, my handle back then and what I used to call myself, etc. And I was still able to find that stuff on news groups. It was still kicking around, interestingly enough. And not that it's really haunting me or shocking me, but it was just kind of interesting to find it was still there. Moving forward, this is where I tell people. Because the reality is, I don't know, some of you probably are not familiar with the term, but this was used in the beginning called the World Wide Web. WWW, which is rarely used anymore. People don't even mention it anymore. But yeah, it was the World Wide Web. And what's interesting about that is that's not far off exactly from what the internet is. It is a World Wide Web. Connecting parts, connecting to other parts, spiders out, spider webs out, here, there, and everywhere. It's not a direct line from point A to point B. Now, a lot of the stuff that I see on the internet, I sit back and I go, I know people don't understand that. I know people don't realize that. They're they're really missing the point that everything is connected like that. And I'm going to shatter some people's realities here to, because I don't think they really realize a few things, but I'm going to shatter some perspectives and realities and how people think it is. Because I see some people that put some scandalous stuff out there and I'm like, wow, okay, so that's just your life gone. (laughs) Okay, so let's get into this. The reality is the delete button is a two-edged sword. It it makes you feel safe online. You tweeted something you shouldn't have, you delete it. It, But the choice to delete things can be taken from people and used to censor their online activity and freedom of speech. But what if you couldn't delete your data from the web at all? whether it's a tweet, a Reddit post, or a comment, or a YouTube video, is it even possible for information to live online forever? This is true because, yes, it does stay online forever because there, there's the goals of multiple online organizations to preserve the internet, to archive the internet for historical reasons. And that's why you can't remove this stuff. You can't. And I'll tell you why. Because even if you hit those archives, great. So you've hit central archives that are known, but you don't know about the other archives. Now let's discuss about some information to be considered when it comes to, we're talking everything from full identity, phone numbers, bank account numbers, physical address, addresses, health records, social security numbers, health card data, insurance data, identification details, everything that can identifies you can be abused and used and everything or blacken your reputation, whatever. Okay, that's important stuff. But what about pictures? 
What about videos? What about stuff that 100% identifies you as you and puts you in a really negative light? This is other important stuff that people overlook, which is really the biggest thing. Put it in your mind that, let's just say, you're not removing everything. But if you wanted to start with trying to remove stuff and to minimize what they refer to as your digital footprint, you can do a few things. So I'm gonna give you some, 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 some steps here because this is a topic for a longer to a show, but here's some steps, 12 steps. You can reach out to the individual or web site to remove the content. You could obtain a court order. You can send a cease and des uh, desist letter. You can make an editorial request. Send a DC DMCA takedown notice. Submit a re-indexing request to search engines for terms of service violations. A request for removal from data broker websites. Ask websites to add a no-index tag to that particular source or link or URL. Ask the website to change or update the content. Suppress the negative content with online reputation management. Flag the content for terms of service violations. Submit a revenge porn removal request to Google. These are just some things that you could do. You gotta hit, of course, the central places that are most common, social media sites, Google being the world's biggest search engine. You gotta look to web, the web archives. You're gonna go to Wikipedia type websites. You're gonna go to a lot of the key main things that you could possibly think of, or you're gonna try to hire a service. And I'm gonna you know, say maybe don't hire a service because they're just gonna take your money and run with it. But what about private collections? Because you gotta remember how many people are on the internet. So a video goes out of you or a picture goes out of you or some information goes out about you and it gets posted somebody that has, somewhere that has a lot of eyes. The chances, even if you have it up there, we're talking about 8 billion people in the world and you know more than half are on the internet, the chances that something posted in haste that wasn't supposed to be online would probably be captured by at least one person. Chances are. And then maybe shared with other people or maybe saved locally, maybe archived locally to where they are. They are. Now let's save somewhere. Now you quickly remove that content or data but somebody still has it so once you're free and clear and you think that's completely gone all of a sudden this person goes rummaging through their stuff their backed up data pictures whatever they, they have and they decide to share it with somebody over the internet boom it's out there again or they post it to a public forum or i don't know reddit or some sort of blog boom it's out there again so when your guard's been down thinking that that data has been removed boom it's out there again and then you have to go through the whole process again that's just one example i guess my takeaway today is so i don't have to draw this out as one there, there's a lot of paperwork to recover your reputation and to save your reputation and your legacy and your honor all that stuff like that's a lot of work so the only thing i suggest is one watch what you put out on the internet make sure you're willing to back it up make sure you're willing to justify it that means comments that you make posts everything's traceable don't kid yourself pictures videos yeah biggest thing that could truly identify you all that stuff will come back to haunt you so be careful what you do can you remove your digital imprint from the internet yes you could for a certain to a certain degree yes if i were to remove my digital footprint and completely remove myself from the majority of the internet all the social media websites come down all the personal information websites you name it everything that i've had involvement with all those accounts get closed this is the stuff you have to do. do do i suggest doing that well if you don't want to have anything to do with the internet of the digital age yeah but problem is is everything's integrated everything is out there everything is woven within the internet itself so good luck removing everything when it comes to you but it can be done to a certain degree but don't expect 100 percent, maybe 98 but besides that enjoy the internet enjoy the digital age enjoy everything that it is just be careful protect yourself don't put stuff that can harm you out there because it will stay out there watch your comments definitely watch your pictures and videos and uh yeah just stay safe okay that's about it i'm gonna wrap this up <laughs> it was another long show but i wanted to drive point the point home is that be i don't know uh you're liable for what you put out there. It's on you or and just protect yourself and don't let people take pictures or videos of you that you don't want out there because chances are they will get out there. So be careful about what you put out there in any form or fashion because, um, yeah, it just it hurts you. You know what? Speaking of which, if you're kicking around on the Internet, you know, looking to remove stuff or just browsing, please check out themadmorgan.com, themadmorgan.com for more information on all our podcast shows from now moving into the future. I'm your host, Mad Morgan. I am going to wrap this up for today. I hope you have a terrific Thursday and keep your integrity in check. And I will see you tomorrow for Friday's episode. Yay, Friday, end of the week. We'll be out there. Till then, have an awesome day. Take care and I will see you then.